All right, what I want to do today was go through and just quickly show you uh, a little SQL demonstration that I have uh, that takes into account both the HS360X scanner with barcode reading capabilities and then also the SQL client capabilities that the NX102 and many of the other processors have. So what I've done um, is I have created up here a... SQL table, SQL database called SysMac Demo that has a table in it called SysMac Work Orders. And I've just pre-populated maybe five or six sample work orders up here. Um, <clears throat> and what I also did then was I created, uh, using just a, a standard internet barcode printing, uh, you can find them anywhere pretty much online, uh, where you can put in a, a number and it'll create the barcode for you. So I've got these printed. And what I want to do is walk through how these two can work together. So what I did is I created a little HMI program here. So I've got, uh, go to IIoT and then we'll click on SQL and it's gonna open up a SQL page. So what I'll do is I'll click on the scan work order label and it's gonna bring up a keypad. And what I'm gonna do is take my labels that I have here and I'm gonna go ahead and scan this first one. And so you can see it puts the number 11645 in. And then I have a button here for load work order. So I'm gonna hit load work order. And you can see it pulls up Omron A234 and then quantity is 17. Now if we go into our SQL database again, you can see that 11645, customer name is Omron, part number A234, and quantity 17. So let's do that again now using another work order. So instead of 11645, we'll hit this 21654. Hit enter, hit load work order, and now it changes to Horizon Z145, quantity 62, which then reads Horizon Z145, quantity 62. Now, one other nice feature that we have is if we wanted to actually enter and do table inserts, we can also do that as well. So I'll go back to the HMI, and over on the right here, I created some entries for creating a work order. So I'll enter a sample work order number. We'll just say five, six, seven, uh, seven, eight. Customer name, I'll just put me. Part number. I'll say A, B, C, one, two, three, and quantity 25. I hit create work order. And now if I go back to my SQL table and I hit the execute SQL again to read the table, we now see five, six, seven, eight, customer me, part number A, B, C, one, two, three, and quantity 25. And how all of that is done is just through a few function blocks inside of SysMac Studio. After you create the connection, there is a database connect function block, which connects from the PLC to the SQL database. Then we can do some variable mapping so that we can create variables that match the table columns on the SQL database. And then we have a function block to read, which is called DB select, or to write, DB insert. And then once those are done, we simply do a database close. So real simple demo to show you how you can integrate both the laser scanner with the SQL client on the NX102.